Before we go further, I want to make a quick comment about shingle racking. Racking is the straight up application of shingles and although some contractors use this method to install three tab shingles and even some laminates, this method is not recommended by GAF for any shingle and is not acceptable for any GAF laminated shingle. Racking often makes color variations more noticeable and can lead to shingle damage. It can also result in missing fasteners, which increases the risk of blow-offs. Another problem with racking, especially in cold weather, is that when you bend a shingle to slip it under another, you may damage or break the shingle, and this may not be visible at the time of installation. The first course, after the installation of the starter course, begins with a full shingle laid flush with the starter course at the eave and rake. Move left to right or right to left, but not straight up the roof in a rack. Place the shingle so that it is flush with the starter course overhanging the eave or drip edge by one quarter to three quarters of an inch. Remember, in high wind areas, install a leak barrier along the rakes for added protection and install starter shingles up the rake. Place the second shingle next to the first, then continue across the roof. The Timberline series shingles will require four nails unless the local code requires six. Trim six inches from the first shingle of the second course. Place the butt of the shingle at the top of the dragon teeth of the underlying shingle. Full shingles are then placed across the roof to complete the course. The third course starts with a shingle that has had 11 inches trimmed from the rake edge. It is placed over the second course with the butt at the top of the sawtooth of the underlying shingle. For the fourth course, trim 17 inches off the shingle. Full shingles are then placed across the roof to complete the course. On the fifth course, the pattern starts over with a whole shingle. Install the next course, course six, the same as course two. The easiest way to get a clean, straight edge is to snap a chalk line along the overhang you want and cut the shingles to the line. 